We got fans who arrived hours, and even days, early were not pleased when they realized there were no public restrooms available, as they waited for Donald Trump's Sunday October 27th rally in Madison Square Garden. One person called the bathroom situation insane, as they explained how they used plastic bottles as toilets. Why didn't they put any porta potties out here for us? The MAGA supporter added. Why did the city decide not to do that? It's like a third world country. Another rally goer, who had arrived on Friday, October 25th, revealed we're peeing in bags and little cups and we had to put up a little portable privacy shower so people didn't have to look at each other when they did that. A third person, who attended the event with her seven-year-old daughter, told the New York Post, you just can't drink any fluids. We got here a little after 6 a.m. so we're going to tough it out and not drink or eat anything. It's kind of insane that there's no provision at all for people who are going to be waiting this long. It's been reported at least 2,000 people camped out overnight in anticipation of the event. By 10 a.m. on the morning of the rally, there was an estimated 10,000 people waiting to attend. This comes after Trump faced backlash when comedian Tony Hinchcliffe, who performed at the Madison Square Garden campaign event, made offensive comments about Puerto Rico. A floating island of garbage? Referring to Puerto Rico? Poisoning the blood of our nation? We have murder in our genes. F these racists, Trump's former pal Geraldo Rivera wrote by X on Sunday. Latino men of goodwill have pride in yourselves and your ancestors. A vote for Trump is a vote against self-respect. Latino men, for the love of your parents and children, for your pride and your honor tell this little gringo s to go F himself, he continued. MSG is a legendary arena memorable for many historic occasions. Now it will be remembered as the place Donald Trump lost his bid for re-election. It was one hate speech too many. Rivera also slammed Trump as a sore loser for claiming the 2020 presidential election was stolen and confirmed he would be voting for Vice President Kamala Harris earlier this month.